I'm Steve, and this is CC Garage. What's up, YouTube? Well, this is a continuation from uh, the progress we made from the pancake and uh, what needs to be done afterwards. So that way your truck can lay this low. So let's get into it. So the cross member is fully bolted in. Don't need the jack no more. And the big issue that we have is this tie rod right here, which it is sitting right on the control arm. So I can't even, can't even bolt this up. So what I am going to do is unbolt this, drill some new holes over here, and uh, hopefully that is the issue. So we got the steering taken off because we got to cut the frame. Got the wheels back on. I'm going to drop it down to see where exactly everything sits and to see how close the frame actually is now. This is how low it sits. It's kind of a pain in the ass getting the jack out. I had to use another jack. But the bumper sits. For the steering, where we unbolted these, since we took out two inches, we need to come up two inches. And doing that, we are going to have to notch out the frame. I'm not sure how much we got to notch out, but that's what the internet expert said. The same thing with the steering box. I'm not 100% sure yet, but I might make a plate at work tomorrow and use that to bring the box up. So I made a quick little template of a bracket I'm going, and I messed up already. Cool. So uh, I'm going to cut this out. What I did was I placed it up against the existing holes. I took my Sharpie and I colored the back side of it. So I made sure that this piece is all square. I used a speed square. So there is the holes that I colored. I measured up two inches. So what I'm going to do is move this line so I don't cut off the hole that I need. And then cut this out, see how it fits. And I have a piece of steel somewhere. So I took my cardboard template, cut it out, taped it over top of this metal. I drilled the pilot hole where all my holes are going to be. Then grabbed a stepper bit. And I'm gonna open all these up to the size of the bolts that I'm using. So it's gonna to bolt to the original location and then that will be bolted to the steering box to raise it up that two inches it needs to be. So the plate that I made isn't gonna work so what I did was I bolted it up to where the factory bolts were and then the new bolt holes which is this one and that one, I drilled through. Oops. So that is where two of the new holes are gonna be. The third one is gonna be up here, so I'm gonna have to weld the tab on here, and that will be the third hole. But I'm gonna go ahead and probably make some spacers, because obviously this bumps out, and see if I can get that to actually sit on here. But to do so, I'm not sure if this is going to be in the way, but we will find out in a little bit. Okay, so we got the steering box tightened down. We still got to make our clearance in the frame. Kind of drew a kind of drew a sharpie line. Let's start on the passenger side first. Uh, one thing I'm not sure about is when this is where it needs to be. The linkage right here actually sits like right here with not a whole lot of clearance. I don't know, I'm guessing some some of it's to do with the fact that my motor has slid back like an inch and a half. Uh, so I'm not sure if this is gonna be the same for you guys, but I'm gonna go ahead. I got marks right here, I'm gonna cut. And then I'm gonna probably either heat this up and beat it in so that way it's flat, or I'm gonna cut it out because this interferes with where I need to mount this at. 
So for the steering, I ended up notching out the frame. You gotta make sure that you clear that pitman arm. I think that's what that's called. And then I raised up my box two inches over here. Did the same thing. Made clearance for this. I cut out a box and it wasn't big enough. So I took the sawzall blade and I cut and cut and cut. I cut a small triangle and then I beat that part of the frame up. So I'm gonna end up welding that seam shut again, but that gave me the clearance I need and I don't have a great big piece missing. I'm gonna get some steel. I'm gonna cover that eventually, just not right now, because I'm not sure what I'm still doing for frame modifications. But this is the truck up right now. Not all the way, but I'm on like 100 PSI. So. Back up, babies. You like low riders? No? It's okay. You're okay. But that's what we got for bumper clearance. Not a whole lot, but uh, sits pretty dang low now. We still got about three quarters, move. We still got about three quarters of an inch before the frame actually touches, but look how close that rocker is in the front. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to get tires for the back pretty soon so it actually sits level. So what I should do is I'd, well, I already know there's like an inch and a half of frame back here. So if I get the 26 inch tall tires back here, like, I got up there then that'll be on the frame right there don't mind the trans fluid I got a kit for that I'm gonna be working on that after I get the truck drivable because I don't want to trailer it to Matt's shop so hopefully this video helps you guys out because when I was looking up pancaking I couldn't really find a whole lot of good information everybody's got videos on how to actually cut the cross member and weld it back together but nobody has installation videos and I haven't found really any uh, information on actually moving the steering box and steering linkage up so yeah that's pretty much it make sure you like comment share subscribe and uh, we'll be back for some more videos have a good one